How y'all doing? Welcome to End the War. Today's episode is Diary of a Hood Nigga. All right, we're going to introduce our two guests. We got you. What's your name, brother? And where you from? Yeah. Oh, okay. That's where you from? Okay, cool. Where you from, brother? <laughs> My name is Tom. I'm from West Seattle, 206 Puget Sound. You know what I'm saying? It, it, it kind of don't make no sound. Okay, let's get right into it because we're going to do this episode. We're going to speed through. We're going to keep it quick so we keep y'all attention. So first question for you, bro, both of you brothers. What's a hood nigga? And are there different types of hood niggas? To the right of me, uh, not the furthest to the right, but the closest to the right. That's a hood nigga. So what are the different type of hood niggas? Um, there's a hood nigga that will uh, definitely never ever grow up out of the hood. Mm. But there's also a hood nigga that will never uh, have the hood grow out of him. Okay, gotcha. Types. And uh, I, look, I looked around, and I also, to me, in my opinion, there's a lot of hood niggas. Like, there's the gang members. Then you got the athletes who say his his brother is a gang member, so he's associated in that way. Kind of like uh, DeMar DeRozan. So he'll score, he'll throw up his little crib or whatever. And then you got, like... Uh, what's his name? Uh, uh, the nigga that just was shooting, and just got caught shooting. Oh, yeah, yeah, I know you're talking about. Yeah. And then... Uh, the, uh, and then there's associates, people who just know people as far as they ain't in a gang, but they're always around the gang members. Right, like like kind of like that one white boy that was in the hood, that, that that's even, my nigga at all. Even, even him. Yeah. And then we got the, and then we got the, the niggas that just live in the hood. So they live there. That's they're their in the hood. hood. Yeah, nigga in the hood. Yeah. So these are all different types of hood niggas. So there's this level, this level, this level, this level. Okay, so another question I got. Where are you from? And what does it mean to you? Or are you are you from a gang? Were you in a gang? So, uh, definitely growing up, it was it was so so west first of the Seattle, um, but uh, GD gangster disciple. You know what I'm saying? But growing up. It, uh, it develops, it's a uh, growth and development, and it's all of Seattle. Okay. It means the city of a lot of pain, but plenty to gain. Seattle 206, that's what it means to me, for real. Okay, and how'd you, how'd you get initiated in? Um, well, initially, you know, uh, just my father, you know, he's he's a G, so I was born into it, then I was blessed into it, then I was trying to be hard in the super hood, I got jumped into it, you know what I'm saying, and um, just just being, you know, being in, involved with it, you know what I'm saying, it was it was definitely grandfather that was passed down. Yep, and you, brother, no name? That's a good answer. All right, um, what's hood hopping? And is hood hopping a negative thing, a positive thing? Do you accept it? Is it okay? A lot of people have hit me in the inbox and asked me about this. I can speak on that part. How? What is hood hopping first? Hood hopping is when you basically get- You gotta talk super loud. Just like he get grandfather blessed in, like he got blessed in, and it's a blessing to him. And then he go, say he get into it with his homies or they don't like him no more, and he go, or his family moves somewhere, and his family moved to a different neighborhood, and he start kicking it with those guys. He mm. get put on that hood, and then still talking to his homies over there, but still ain't telling them he kicking it with these guys now. So he's basically hood hopping and not telling the guys over there he really from over here. Stuff. That's yeah, for sure. Definitely um, straddling the fence. You know, I'm switching sides, um, pretending, trying to 
get in kind of where you where you you know to pretend to fit in you know what i'm saying instead of like it's in you not on you you know what i mean um definitely hood hopping is a is a <clears throat> is something that's frowned upon um in in my hood culture so is it ever okay to is it ever okay to hood hop so you move from chicago to seattle no so you still represent your chicago hood absolutely yeah. okay got you if I were, if I was from no matter where I where I go, I'm so Seattle. Gotcha. Okay. And I hear all the time, you know, brothers like never over a female, never over your bitch, nigga never catch feelings. But mostly all the killings, or I'm gonna say all, all killings, the whole reason why brothers go to jail is because of women. So what's up with that? I would I would definitely say you know um, nine times out of a, nine times out of ten. When it comes to a situation that is getting popped or something like that, um, it definitely um, majority rules when it comes to a bitch um, or just some stupid shit that's politics that's not real. Um, so, but it, it, <clears throat> being a hood nigga also knows uh, you feel me that she's supposed to have a, a woman to fall in love and you know, so whatever like. Frank Lucas, for example, or any any kingpin, whatever gangster mob member, treat his mama and his woman like a queen. Mm. Would get smacked in the face by him, and, and I blame my mom. I need to be, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. um, so I'm I'm riding for mine. So yeah, I'm I'm going over my girl. Yeah, damn yeah, right. But wouldn't that be against the rules? Fuck no. That's a hood nigga. You gotta look at it in a broader scope and think about it. It's more things going on, more fights happening in the world, and it's all behind a woman most of the time. So our gang stuff is the same way. It's like a woman could tell a guy to go outside wearing what she wanted him to wear, knowing did the guy would know dang well he can't wear that stuff. He'll still go outside with it on. If something happens to him, she is so mad and she wants to retaliate through everything. So she can live her life on that. And, uh, and she's going to progress that through everything, through her whole life. So it's like wherever she goes, she got that whole stigma on telling man on what to do. So it's like shit progresses. I would like to kind of reiterate on what I said about, the, uh, um, you know, going over your female. I think uh, a man, a hood nigga, should definitely be ready to die for his female. But all these killings and niggas dying over the speech, these bitches in the streets is definitely not. That's not so. It's she's flocking with the birds in the streets, eating all the crumbs that she provide to her, and every other nigga provides to her. That's not your woman. Now in my situation, I, that's my woman. Yeah. So if if it's your bitch, your little feet, something mm -hmm. that it ends me to. Her, it's cop and blood, that's how the game goes. But if you're really in, in, involved and this is your woman, y'all live together and y'all have a plan together and, and, and structure a business upon your life together, mm -hmm. yeah, I'm going. That's what I mean by that. So anybody else over that is, is not, that's not no hood nigga shit to me. Can you ever step out the game or not be a part of it? Absolutely. When, when does that come? It or are you GD for life? I'm GD for life, but as I said in the beginning, it used to be Gangster Disciple. Mm. 360 was the chapter, and it's growth and development now. GD mm -hmm. growth and development, 720 is the chapter. I used to, my, my little brothers and my cousins in and out of jail, my little brothers in jail for murder one juvenile life, looking up to me, got them into the streets. Mm. I failed them to realize though that you can get out the streets too. I'm a prime example of being in the streets and getting out the streets. I've been having a career maintained for eight years, if not a little longer. You can so, pull up a chair so, if you want to, brother. So you can. I'm a, I'm a slider, you know. I'm a slider. You, you can definitely put the uh, put you your know flag the up. Slider, you know what I'm saying? Okay. Um, how do y'all deal with loss? What kind of loss? Just like loss in the hood, like homies. You know, if you're if you're in the street life, you're gonna deal with a lot of loss. I mean, you know, homies, drug, a lot of stuff. Tragically and sadly, um, you know, most times uh, it's uh, niggas put your face on a sweater and a couple stickers, and you know what I'm saying? Rip, rip my nigga, rip my nigga, long live, and, and uh, 
about a month later, you know, out of them 100, 200 people, it's only three of them still talking about him. Um, so my life is going to keep on moving. If you're not a part of my life, my everyday life, then I mean, eventually it's going to fade. But if you're a part of my everyday life, I will always remember you every day of my life. So, um, niggas in the hood with, with loss nowadays, they don't care. They just want to make sure they had a name that that nigga went out or he, he, he had bitches and he had all the, so it don't, it don't mean nothing to me. I don't, I don't want to, um, I don't want to go out like you that. For sure not. Mm -hmm. When, if I could speak on that, mm -hmm. when you lose a homie, it kills your hood. Your hood is like dead until you revive it back. And the only way you revive it back is getting back. Mm -hmm. And once you get back, you revive your hood back. You are back feeling like it. good with the spiritual loss. That's how it goes, really. It's like your hood dies until you revive mm -hmm. it back. So basically, when one of your homies gets shot and they die, your hood's dead until you shoot the person who shot them or one of, shoot one of them from the other side. And then you revive them. That's how you revive them. It's like not shooting them from the other side. It's just like you just get revenge from the Or yeah, get, or so, get revenge. So his, his name li lives in, 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 um, in vain, pretty much. Okay. Gotcha. Okay, I got a couple more questions. And then we're going to be done. And I told you we'll get straight into it. So, can, can I just say this real quick? Go ahead. I don't, I really don't understand how um, I, I could be from West Seattle and Bo could be from the CD and my other bro could be from the South End. And there's so many different gangs, but nigga, we drive 15 minutes from each city to meet each other so quickly and so frequently. Mm -hmm. But that nigga over there is your opposition. One nigga that nigga the right down the street that your grandmama went to church with is your opposition instead of making you guys make a proposition and growing. See, that's part it, of why it, people it, don't understand. It's like, it are there certain cool. rules or are there not certain rules? If he's from over there, he's from over there. Respect that. So the, the, game, the game has rules, but niggas got to misconstrue. Some don't follow them or mm -hmm. some try to make their own. And it doesn't go that way. The game is to be played, but not to be played. Straight up, there's rules you gotta play. Somebody from the other side, I'm cheating to the death of me. I got a couple vice lord partners. Mm -hmm. I don't give a fuck. I'm a. Hey, it used to be, what's up, Tone Capone, West Seattle, falls up. Every time I shook a person's hand to enter, my name is Tone. What's up, brother? How you doing? It don't matter what you're from or what. Let's go get your money, bro. So, so when it comes down to it, what side are you on? The homies who's vice lords or the gangster disciples? Um, it's, 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 uh, <clears throat> I'm definitely going to voice my opinion first. I'm going to try to tie them flags together like the Crips and Blood Snoop Six, Snoop and Gang. Mm hmm um, try to try to show that we one in the same. If it don't go down to it, just like in the pen, I fuck with a couple of them essays. But guess what? My niggas say go, we gonna go. And when you say your niggas, the GDs? Yeah, GDs. Just to be clear, okay. Yeah. He Okay. Um. Yeah. Do you want your kids, or do you mind if your kids follow in your footsteps as far as being blessed in or in this gang? Or? I, I absolutely do, but I want him to be a better version of me. I want him to be a gangster. You absolutely do, but that sounds dumb as hell. Now, now listen, this is my explanation. Please. Because my father wanted me to be just like him, right? Mm -hmm. I'm better than him, hands down. Mm -hmm. He instilled a lot of shit in me that made me who I am. Rough, rugged, and raw as it was. I learned from that and I grew and I cherished those those uh, uh, fucked up ways of growing up because it taught me what not to do. Mm -hmm. We used to say, don't let our kids see you arguing and fighting. Mm -hmm. That's why we fucked up now and don't know how to get over no argument healthily. No, I want my son to see me arguing and fighting, but come up with a healthy result afterwards. So I want to instill everything, everything that's rough, wrong, pure into my son and let him know that he has an... I, this is who you are to the world. This is what the world's gonna give you, nigga, but this is what you can be. I'm so hood, nigga, but I'm so your father. I'm so your mom's, I'm so a man. Mm -hmm. So yes, I want my son to be like me, but shine brighter. 
me, I was the opposite. I didn't want my son to be like me, but my baby mom progresses on to him. Like she calls my son little cuz and all this shit. So it's like she's grooming him up to be like me. And you're a product of your like, environment. Exactly. She grooming, but he's not even in my crib hood. He lives in a nice white neighborhood. And everything. Oh, and she's grooming him to be like me. It's like, I don't get it, but that's she's, like. She's saying it's in your roots. So it's not, I don't even Dang, live with my man. baby mama. So she just seen that shit in me mm -hmm. and she's trying to put it on him. So it's like, when he come with me, I show him a different side of about her though. But she just put him into that world that my and shit. I'm, she, st I'm still trying to teach my son what I'm learning. Because okay. cause when you when you leave a woman, she could go with another guy, but she's only gonna go with guys who's like you. So then they want your son to be like with that and all that. So like, some women only mess with Crips. Some women only mess with GDs. Some women only mess with certain type of guys so 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 you guys are saying you're saying yes your son could be a gd my son is a gd your son is a gd because yeah. you are there's there, yes absolutely he's born blessed into this through me through my blood and you're saying no you don't want that i can't my son is the same thing but i can't say no it's like he automatically is okay gotcha gotcha it's, okay So there's there's also another meaning to that to that GD is God's disciple too. You know what I mean? Like you say, for example, hey Christian, mm -hmm. you know what I mean? I, my son, if I'm going today out this world, my son will know mm -hmm. to stay through it, work and be there for yours. Hey, shout out to the hood Christians. Will it be the hood Christian? Uh Solomon only one wiser hood Christian. Hey. Good. Dojo box okay, right. now before I get to the last question, this is gonna take about ten seconds. We're gonna, I'm gonna start with you, brother. I'm gonna say some names or words, and I want you to give me just one word that you think of immediately. No wait, wait don't hesitate. You want me to you ask me the same thing? No, yeah. Really. All right, I'm gonna call. I'm calling my ear song over here. <laughs> Snoop Dogg. Right Smoke. now, his answer is dog. Snoop Dogg. Smoke. YG. Whoa. Push, push it in. Tupac. Good, good luck. The Biggie Smalls. Crazy. New York. Drake. Singer rapper. I don't know. <laughs> Blueface. Clown. Schoolyard. <laughs> Tucky Clown, Williams. Nigga. Clown, L.A. LeBron James. Legendary. Cavaliers. Jada Pickett. What do they call that? I just call it. I just had a student. Will Smith. What is that? Superhero. Entanglement. <laughs> Donald Trump. Superhero. Michael Jordan. The greatest trash. We cool. The best. Drugs. Bad. Don't do Love. it. Love. Death. Gotta have it. I wish I was on here. Thanks. Don't do that. All right. Capone. Your turn, brother. Let's get this over with. Snoop Dogg. Nay Dog. YG. What's the nigga mustard? Tupac. Shakur. Biggie Smalls. In the East Coast. New York. Drake. Who? Drake. Drake? <laughs> Blueface. That nigga yeah. crazy. Tookie oh, Williams. Yeah. Legendary. LeBron James. Legendary. One of the greatest. Jada Pickett. Smith. <laughs> Will Smith. Entanglement. B. Smith. <laughs> Donald Trump. Fuck ass. Michael Jordan. The goat of goats. Weed. I'm high right now. Drugs. My name. Love. Love. <laughs> Death. Death. Mm. All right, brother, you want to come in? Let him come in real quick. We'll get this over with. I'm here. You stay here. I'm, I'm out of here, y'all. Appreciate you guys tuning in. Appreciate it. One more. We got 30 seconds. Real fast. 
All right, give me, go ahead and give me a one word response, brother. Snoop Dogg. Crib. YG. Well, Tupac. Shakur, like he said. Biggie Smalls. New York. Drake. Singer rapper. Blueface. Clown. Tookie Williams. Oh. LeBron James. Legendary. Jada Pickett. Entanglement. Will Smith. Entanglement. Donald Trump. Sucker. Michael Jordan. Bro, greatest of all time. Weed. I smoke that every day. Drugs. Yeah, I mean, ain't for you. Love. 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 You gotta figure that out for yourself. Death. Death is gonna come to everybody on my mama. All right, can, one last question. Scoot over for me, brother. Get you in here. Just, just scoot over. Everybody scoot over. Because everybody can ask you this. Just come in and you stand up. All right, last question. What's the ultimate goal of a hood nigga? Like, what, what is the ultimate goal for you? Like, in life, how, like, how are you guys seeing life? Like, what do you want to do? Can I break down that question real quick? Like, you going to start? Do you, when you, I was you, are you asking, like, um, when I was a kid? Overall? Like, yeah, hold on. In, yeah. in, in aspect of what a hood niggas want their goal? On oh, whatever. Or yeah. us as a hood niggas goal. Whoever, whatever, however you take it. I would say. So what? What is the what is the ultimate goal of a hood nigga? Get out the hood. When I was young, the ultimate goal was getting out the hood. To get out, be better. So to leave their life alone. Now, do you guys feel like you guys? Well, I come to this barbershop because it keeps me out of all. I'm gonna keep this stack. It keeps me out of all the bullshit. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Like you guys is a hundred. Like when I be wanting to go, fuck off. Niggas say they hood, but that's all. I'm gonna, I'm gonna keep it a stack, nigga. I come here, it keeps me level, it keeps me grounded. Mm -hmm. So a lot of people, if you're not about what you don't, like, niggas say they hood, you're not hood. These guys is one thousand. They all, they all with it. From white to green, purple, whatever. I mean, stand up with what you say and do what you say. Be about it or be without it. That's all I'm gonna say. Uh, I'm, I'm gonna answer it in two different perspectives. Um, I think generally, overall, uh, um, as hood niggas, their um, initial overall goal is to be that nigga wanted and liked, feared by everybody. That nigga. Now, as my hood nigga go, you know how we said in the beginning, there's different hood niggas. There's niggas that are in the hood. That's just the nigga in the hood. Niggas that are from the hood. And then there's niggas that are just hood. I I want to never leave, never forget, but be able to leave, exceed, and um, I, I want to be able, I want to be a, a hood nigga where I can carry my pistol, but I don't have to do it to look over my shoulder. I know I was okay. Do it because I'm I'm a nigga from the hood. Gotcha. And everything, everything in the hood, niggas want, you see the front yard cars on rims, niggas nice shoes, they want to be presented nice. So they want growth, they want something with, which to them is a, um, a facade. To me, it's real life. I want that car, I want them, uh, but I want it to be right. I want to grow out the hood. Okay, uh, before we end, is there anything else anybody want to say? What I'm going to say is, I think I'm going to be listening, Why Never let nobody tell you what you're going to do. You know what I'm saying? I come in here, like I've said, I tell they give me life when I come in here. Because I'll be down sometimes. Not coming to the barbershop, like they always say the barbershop. The barbershop will always gonna get you. You get a clean cut, you feel like a different person. But you come in here 
eat, even just have a conversation. They gonna bring you up. The barbershop girls always feel like the hood. Come on. This is hood therapy. It is the hood. It's hood therapy. Everybody say hood. What Come. was the question when we were talking about? What is the residual oh. of hood? Can, can I ask the question? What is the residual of hood? I, how hood yeah. are you? You can't be that hood. Nobody. We're people. What was the last question you just said? Uh, what's the ultimate goal of the hood? No, no, what you just said. Oh, uh, no, I just said, is there anything else you guys oh, want to say? Uh, and, I, and I was saying that the, oh. the barbershop is the hood community center. My, my last words on um, the topic is hood niggas, we need love too. I got one thing to say too. Go ahead. My name is No Name from Wooty Woo Woo. And I'll be glad if y'all can start doing this. You know what Come on. Hey, and I'm going to say, hey, man, you ain't got to be a tough guy. You ain't got to be a gangbanger. You can do whatever you want. You got to be yourself. Whoever you are, you bring that to the table. Me, I've been knocking niggas out since I was two. Never been in a gang, but no gang. All the homies is from there. So stay positive, keep growing, and never change who you are. I always tell people I represent God, but I'm a hood Christian. Look, so that means I'll knock you out for Jesus. Don't look, get it twisted. Look what residual he made. Come on. Hey, in the world. He start out. cutting here. <laughs> you know what I'm telling you? He start cutting into y'all. Cool. Good day. <laughs> <laughs> you like, I'm about to start talking shit. Nigga start cutting into, nigga, he start cutting into y'all. Hey, hey. Oh.